Marking out is hugely important when we're processing materials. Here's a range of marking out tools that you should be familiar with and I'm going to introduce you to each one uh, to make you more familiar with it and their parts. So a simple pencil is a marking out tool. Also a simple pen would be known as categorized as a marking out tool also. Following on from that we have our steel rule. This is different to a normal ruler uh, as this starts from zero. Okay, so I can place that on the bench and read off the height of something. So that's zero to the height of something. It's in millimeters, it goes up to 300 millimeters. In our subject, we work on millimeters mostly, not centimeters, uh, not inches, millimeters mostly. So this is known as a steel rule, it's made of steel. Our next, next marking out tool is known as an engineer's scribe. What this does is used on acrylic, plastics or metals and it literally scratches um, the material to mark lines on it. So we have points on either side. This is at 90 degrees to get into awkward positions. So that's known as an engineer's scribe. Our next two marking out materials are known as squares. This one here is called a tri-square, mainly used for wood. Um, it's made up of a stock or a handle. This is known as the blade. This is exactly 90 degrees. This here is the brass side and it allows to protect the stock from damage and keeps this true 90 degrees. This is also a square, but it's known as an engineer's square. The stock of this is steel and the blade is steel as well. Like the tri-square, this engineer's square is true at 90 degrees. You'll also notice a slot in the edge of this one that allows your scribe to start exactly from point and scribe out from it. This next one you might not be familiar with is known as a bevel. It is like a square so I can adjust this wing nut here and adjust this blade to different angles. So if you notice the tri-square or a engineer square is at 90 degree bevel, a 90 degree angle, I can place also this bevel at 90 degrees and use it as a square or I can set it at different angles, 45 degrees or 120 and mark out my material. So this is known as a bevel. Our last marking out tool is known as a dividers. So we can twist this nut here and it brings out these two legs. And it's quite similar to a compass. And again, a compass is another marking out tool. And this allows us to measure exact points. Let's say for instance, we had 30 millimeters and we wanted to line up a number of holes at 30 millimeters. We can place that on the material and scribe 30, 30, 30. So this is called a dividers, and as you can see, it's dividing up the spaces. Sometimes you might notice this in old movies or movies about um, pirates or so on, and you can see people using maps, and it's dividing areas on maps or trying to get the distances on maps. Okay, so that is known as a dividers. You can also use this on steel to, uh, as a compass, or on acrylic to draw curves. Draw curves. 
So that is a range of our marking out material. Again, um, to identify them a little bit closer, especially the squares, it's important that when you're using the squares of the material, that the, your um, surfaces and the material are placed right down on the surface of the stock and then um, held in place and we're allowed to find if it's square or not. You can place the material like this and figure out if it's square. You'll notice there you can see the light through it. It's not fully square. To get that square, we'll place that down here like this. And we can get our scribe and we can scribe our 90 degree line through. You'll see that that's now a straight square line.